Okay, so I'm going to get into um, our other part of the affirmative side to this. And the first thing I want to bring up is brute force, just so you guys know. Um, it's a trial and error uh, method uh, used by application programs to decode and encry uh, encrypt the data, such as passwords and data encryption, or otherwise known as uh, DES keys. Um, through, so that, that way the FBI um, and law enforcement, when they're trying to crack the phone, they're not using all these different codes just to, to uh, try to get into the phone because obviously if anybody has an iPhone here, you understand that every time that you try to go through a phone or try to get a password, it delays you. So why would you want to delay something that is important to our nation and to our people? Um, when it's, of course, a life-threatening thing. This is a, as close as uh, the 9-11 cases. Um, another thing I want to get into is some reasons why um, we should. According to Investors.com, uh, technology is already solving privacy issues. So what the F FBI and is asking Apple to do, obviously, is um, an overwhelming probable cause, but it can help the nation. <coughs> with future phone problems. Um, according to Wired Magazine, Apple is uh, adding uh, impenetrative uh, source enclave, or secure enclave, to the next generation of iPhones, and making concerns about FBI's gaming into the back door. But with that, um, we all know about the San Bernardino case and the 5C. Um, we're try trying to solve issues of obviously privacy and obviously um, you know just the FBI asking for um, compliance and throughout the, all the research that I've done I've seen that it's not really, if, if it is in the wrong hands, which it shouldn't be in the wrong hands and it shouldn't get to the wrong hands because it's between Apple's uh, CEO, obviously, and the FBI and go the government itself, that they just want to encrypt people who they know are either known terrorists or, um, or involved with the movement. Um, another another stated thing was that the FBI is not trying to, trying to take a master key to all phones, but it's just trying to unlock, obviously, uh, Farouk's, um, and trying to stop other terrorist plans, either you know from San Bernardino to LA to you know across the nation. And uh, the FBI's um, director, James Comey, I think I'm saying it right, uh, testified in, uh, before the uh, Senate Intelligence Committee and discussed the frustrations of not being able to access the encrypted material from investigations. Um, he's trying to obstruct that whole thing. And it's a big problem because because uh, <coughs> Tim Cook, the, the CEO of, of Apple, doesn't want to give that uh, compliance. <coughs> and he doesn't want to spend countless hours and countless times um, you know, wasting wasting that time, and the brute force is supposed to make it um, a pot, uh, you know, possible possi possibility to speed up the phone or speed up the the time. And uh, there's
There's also another uh, model called the SIF, which uh, is a unique identifier on the phone so that um, it's supposed to load faster and execute on certain objectives and pick up on those terrorist items 